Hobie has been manufacturing innovative and quality watercraft products that people have been relying on for decades. Let's go ahead and dive into the Mirage Passport 12, one of the easiest ways to get yourself on the water in a pedal-driven Hobie kayak. The Passport 12 comes factory equipped with a high-end Mirage drive with glide technology. That means we've got bearings inside the drive, which allow the drive to be quiet and function very smoothly. The standard fin that comes with your Passport 12 Mirage drive is gonna be a standard length pickup fin. You've got premium features in the kick up aspect of this fin. If you hit a submerged object, that fin's gonna kick up and fold out of the way to go over the obstacle. And then as you continue pedaling, it's gonna click right back into place and be held securely there where you can resume normal operation. I find that this standard length fin that comes with your Passport 12 suits shallow water really well. And it's got plenty of power and performance to propel the Passport 12's lightweight hull just fine. If you're looking for a little bit more resistance out of your fin, or you're looking for just a little more power and torque, you can upgrade to a turbo length fin. Hobie's universal Mirage drive well design will accept this drive and earlier drives as well. It'll even accept a 180 if that's a deal breaker for you. So you can talk to your dealer about the 180 if you really feel like you need forward and reverse. Not only does this drive have glide technology, which makes it really quiet and smooth, but it also has kick up fins and adjustment to suit any height user. Simply depress the gray button at the top of the drive crank and pull back or push forward to accommodate users of any size. Your Mirage Drive GT is propelling this unique hull design through the water. So let's talk a little bit about the hull design. We've built a lot of volume into this hull for ultimate stability. So you've got a tapered hull design from bow to stern, a really voluminous midsection, which gives it great secondary stability. So as you step or lean to one side or the other, you feel that secondary stability kick in, which creates a really stable platform allowing the user to feel comfortable in a variety of different conditions. In addition to the amazing stability that you get out of this platform, the tri-hole design also aids in tracking. Not only that, the Mirage Drive helps you go straighter over a long distance. That, in combination with the rudder, allows this product to also be extremely maneuverable in tight quarters. The oversized rudder and the easy steering handle situated right next to the seat allows you to still maneuver this kayak in really tight quarters. If you need to make a tight turn, you've got the capability to do that and the stability to support it. The seat is constructed of a lightweight aluminum tubing, giving you a lot of strength and lightweightness. The 3D mesh cradles the user for all day comfort. It breathes and it dries quick when it's wet. You can also remove the seat from the kayak and use it as a beach chair. I've personally spent hours and hours in this seat from California to Florida in all kinds of different conditions and I can tell you this is a really comfortable seat. One of my favorite things is the natural curve to the seat back. It's got enough lumbar support built into it to keep you comfortable all day long. The webbing straps along either side of the seat make for easy adjustment of the seat back. I personally find myself adjusting the length of the webbing straps uh, throughout the day several times. Sometimes I'll want a more cruisy leaned back position if I'm just covering water or I need to rest a bit. And if I really need to be sharp and my attention on the water when I'm fishing, say around mangroves, sight fishing, uh, casting undercover, I want, I want that more upright position. It's kind of like an athletic stance in the seat. When it comes time to rig your Passport 12 with accessories to make it your own, We've got great resources available on Hobie's YouTube channel. We've published an entire rigging series that you can find there for inspiration or education. Let's dive into some of the details that make the Passport 12 unique to this family of kayak. Starting out, we've got a thermoform construction which allows us to do this beautiful two-tone coloration in several different colors for this model. First thing you notice on the bow is an ergonomic carry handle. We've also got one on the stern that allows for comfortable portaging 
with a Hobie cart or with a friend. Moving back, we've got these sleek tapered rod rests that also channel water into the drainage system of the kayak. First, let me point out the crisscrossed bungee that sits atop the bow recess. This is a spacious area for storing cargo, and you've actually got these ribs that elevate your gear to keep it from sitting in water. This molded round part in the bow recess is a perfect fit for a round eight inch Hobie hatch. So that would yield more in-hole cargo access or a nice place to rest a fish finder battery. Just back from there, we've got a sail mast receiver that accepts a Hobie sail or also accepts the front post for the Hobie Bimney, providing you shade on the water all day long. Back from there, you'll notice the Mirage Drive sitting in our unique Passport Mirage Drive well. The click and go systems allow you to easily and swiftly lift the drive out of the kayak for beaching or landing and plugging it in quickly and easily for use. So those will just flip back toward the user and allow you to pull the drive out. And notice when you plug the drive in, automatically the spring-loaded feature of the click and goes snap around the drive to secure it in place. Right here, just on either side of the drive, you'll notice recesses for the H-bar mounting feet. This allows you to easily install Hobie's unique H-bar standing support system that aids in getting up and down from the seat or standing on the water. Moving back from there, we're getting into the business area of the kayak, the cockpit. This area is where all the action is going to happen and where you're going to store most of your gear for your day on the water. We've got gear tracks atop the gunnel, which allow you to install a variety of Hobie accessories, such as an extra cup holder, a fish finder mount, or a camera mount. And then if you look just inboard of that, we've got these tackle bungees. I call these tackle bungees because it's a great place to stash a large size Plano box, and this bungee actually holds it to the side of the cockpit, securing it while you're on the water. Just below that, you've got a molded recess for accepting the Hobie map pocket. I like the rubberized mesh pocket for that because it doesn't get hooks stuck in it and it's stretchy to accommodate things of different sizes. On the right hand side of the kayak, next to the capacity sticker, you'll notice a three-way through hole plug. This is there because we've already installed a fish finder and a transducer on this particular kayak. If you were getting this new from a dealer, you're not gonna find that there, but we do have a kit available that allows you to put the through hole plugs in and outfit your Passport 12 with a fish finder and a transducer if you want. Now mounting the transducer is really easy. On the underside of the hole, we've given this kayak an integrated transducer mount and a cavity that protects the transducer. That makes for a really easy installation of a variety of transducers on the market and it'll help you protect your investment too. Standing pads on either side of the eight inch round hatch provide a little comfort and traction and eliminate sound when you're moving your feet around the kayak. This can be really important if you are fishing in an area that's quiet and you want to be as stealthy as possible. This eight inch round hatch provides a nice spacious in-hole access point for stuffing a dry bag into. You can also rest a battery or a deep gear bucket right in the lip of that hatch. We've also given this hatch a cool feature which is a stainless steel bottle opener on the underside of the lid. Cup holders on either side of the cockpit just forward of the seat will fit large sized Nalgene water bottles. The other thing you'll notice right under the seat bottom is the transducer cavity scupper. Inside that scupper is where you'd house your fish finder transducer. The cable comes up through there and enters into that through hole plug that we've already installed into the kayak. That hides all the fish finder cables and makes for a really sleek installation. The paddle that's situated on the right hand side or the starboard side of the kayak is a lightweight aluminum design with reflective tape on each end for safety. 
Anglers fishing out of the Passport 12 will often change lures many times throughout the day. This is a great resting spot for lures or other small items that you need to stash temporarily. These two raised features just behind the seat in the hull allow for two Passport 12s to nest together securely. This does make a great traveling boat. Its durability and lightweightness just go hand in hand with travel. Moving back, behind the seat atop the gunnel, you'll find these two integrated rod holders. These are factory installed and they've got a molded gimbal pin at the bottom of the rod holder. So those larger trolling outfits, you can actually stash in there and affix them in a certain angle so they won't rotate as you're using them. We've given the Passport 12 two sets of scuppers. This is really important if you've already got a live well plugged into the aft scuppers and you still need to cart your kayak. The Hobie plug-in cart will install to this set of scuppers right under the aft end of the seat, which give you a more balanced feel as you're portaging the kayak. In the cargo deck, you'll notice these raised ribs. This allows water to freely drain underneath the accessories that you've got installed in the cargo area and right through the scuppers. So your equipment's gonna stay drier than it normally would in the cargo area. Just like in the bow recess, we've outfitted the stern with a round molded area for an eight inch round Hobie hatch. This is gonna be an essential installation for accessing the through bolting hardware for those of you that are choosing to put a power pole micro on the stern. The power pole micro is undeniably the most useful accessory for shallow water fisheries, allowing you to swiftly, silently deploy a spike into the bottom and anchor yourself into position. So this molded area here fits that power pole micro mounting bracket just perfectly and allows for an ideal installation. The drain at the stern allows you to open this and drain any water that you might have gotten into the hole throughout the day. This oversized, manually deployable rudder is situated at the stern. The spring-loaded nature of this rudder allows you to partially deploy it before you hit the water, and then as you get into deep enough water for the rudder to deploy all the way, it'll do it on its own. That spring-loaded action will put it right down into place and keep it there. As you notice, the rudder's got a ton of surface area to it, and it's got great articulation, allowing for sharp turning and tight quarters. This rod goes straight up to the steering handle aside the seat, allowing for a smooth and quiet operation of the rudder. If for some reason you need to adjust the angle of the rudder, we've got this easy knob here. Just loosen that a few turns, and you can actually slide the rod through the rudder to adjust the angle. This replaceable skid guard is actually sacrificial, so as it wears out, you can contact your dealer for a replacement, but this protects the hole from scratches and abrasions, especially on tough terrain like concrete ramps and things like that. As you're watching this video, you might be asking yourself, what sets the Passport 12 apart from other kayaks in its size class? Well, I would say on the smaller end, I'm comparing the Passport 12 to its other family kayak, the Passport 10.5. You've got a built-in transducer mount on the underside of the kayak, which is a huge feature for me. The 10.5 doesn't have that integrated transducer mount and cavity on the underside of the hole. So that's the biggest factor there. For somebody like myself who might be using this to take long camping trips or using it as a fishing platform, you're probably going to be taking quite a bit more gear than somebody that is in the 10.5. The larger weight capacity and larger cargo capacity is a big factor for me also. The 10.5 is great for getting on the water. It's a little bit lighter weight, but it does have a smaller weight capacity and a little bit less cargo storage. When comparing the Passport 12 to something in the more premium range, you're probably looking at the Compass or the Outback. Both the Compass and the Outback are outfitted with Mirage Drive 180, which means they have a reversing function to the drive. If you wanted to speak with your dealer about purchasing a Mirage Drive 180 for the Passport 12, that's something that the Hobie Universal Drive Well will accept. 
The rudder on the compass in the Outback is also nested underneath the hull, whereas this rudder sits atop the hull. It's a minor separator, but it does set it apart a bit. The nesting of the rudder underneath the hull is nice when you're car topping the Outback or the compass upside down, but you can also do that with this product. You just have to be a little bit more mindful of the rudder sitting atop the top side of the kayak. The construction of the seat also, when you're looking toward the more premium compass or Outback, is more highly adjustable. Let's jump to the Outback, for example. You've got BOA lumbar support, you've got up-down control of the seat, just a little bit more all-around adjustability. Looking at the compass, comparing that to the Passport 12, you've got a little bit more of an elevated seating position on the compass. One benefit of the Passport seat sitting slightly lower is that it does lower the center of gravity and give you ultimate stability in the kayak. Hole shape between the Passport family compared to some of the more premium end product like Compass and Outback is very similar, but it does differ a little bit. The Compass and Outback have a long molded keel that provides extra tracking and makes them really great paddling kayaks. But really, this is a very versatile platform, the Passport 12. Thanks for watching the walkthrough of the Passport 12 and learning all about the neat features on this kayak. To see one in person or to schedule some time on the water in this kayak, you can visit the dealer finder on hobie.com and find the dealer nearest you and schedule some time on the water.